Yo, hello guys. Hello guys. Today, uh, philosophical lectures, a uh, course in Minecraft. Uh, we're presenting uh, Mr. Tulpa Chamber and Skyfall, but not like a Agent 007, but more like uh, Skyrim Daggerfall. Yes. So, yeah. This uh, philosophical lecture is. Uh, what, what, what philosopher are you going to talk about, Mr. Skyfall? We're going to talk about like one with many philosophers, but um, this one, the most important for this lecture course is, of course, Martin Heidegger. Uh, and unfortunately, you're not gonna get some like university credits from this lectures, but uh, maybe you'll get some useful insights why we're gonna survive on this crazy Romanian server. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna be a lecturer and uh, Magoga Gog, who is Mr. Tupper Chamber, he's gonna he's gonna be like a student who's gonna represent all the auditory who is watching this um, great YouTube. Oh, so yeah, I think we're, we can like cut trees here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, so we, have, we, have, we have reached three territory. So yeah, but in general, like um, Heidegger is a complicated philosopher and uh, he's a, the meaning of his book, books in general, it's more about like uh, not even the semantic of the words, but about their etymology. So this is very really? word-central um, philosophy. So I, I mean, like he he he, ch he chose to say, oh my God, there's a zombie. We need to create some sort of weapon. I'm more of a practical sort of, uh, sort of person, actually. You know, I don't know I don't know many philosophy stuff, but uh, it's good that uh, Mister uh, Mister Zero Zero Seven. Uh, I'm sorry, Mister Mister Skyfall. Mister Skyfall. Mister Skyfall, Skyfall, Skyfall is here. Uh, ah! What yeah, that's was what I'm talking about. Oh my god, this is a zombie. Fast, fast. Okay, okay. Do you think this is I what Romania know. looks like in real life? I don't know, maybe. maybe like, but it's Where are you? I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, oh. Fucking yeah. hell. Uh, this is gonna be our test auditory, right? So zombies are trying to like kill me, and I'm... We're gonna talk about Heidegger to them. Fuck, there's okay. skeletons, mate, they're shooting at me, Oh no! So yeah, yeah, the guys is more about the knowledge, about like, um, exchanging the worlds. So you have your, like, common sense meaning, you know, like, common sense meaning of the worlds. And he said that it's uh, completely wrong. I mean, it's, he's not saying it directly, but he's changing your semantic and dictionary uh, by going back deep into etymology. And so that's why Martin Heidegger for like newcomers to philosophy sometimes may be really hard to read. Mm. Yeah, because um, a lot of terminology, a lot of like this uh, stuff like present and hand, ready to head, like design, it's so complicated and like uncomprehendable un um, at first, at first. But actually what I get from reading Heidegger, like that he's talking about really simple concepts. And I, I thought, like, I got the feeling from uh, reading his, like, time and being that, like, Minecraft is the best framework for explaining, like, the, those basic concepts of, um, like, time and being of a design, of right to hand and right to hand. It's basically, like, if you want to understand him, the, the best, in, like, and you play Minecraft, you have a much more probability to understand Heidegger, you know? Mm. So, so that's, that's gonna be the goal, and right now we're gonna make some sort of like a... I won't say that you have to read something before, but I mean, we're gonna talk in general about philosophy, about what it means to us and our personal experience of life. Like, what do we say, uh, Mr. Goodbye uh, Chamber? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the, the idea is that I think that Heidegger, like, you know, What's important? Say, of course, you heard about Albert Camus. Mm -hmm. You may have heard about uh, Sartre. And those guys, that is like pretentious French philosopher. They stole everything from Heidegger. They basically took his like existentialist, uh, like phenomenological existentialism, and make it like a simple brochure, like you know, like a communist manifesto, but also like a simple brochure which mm -hmm. is not actually mm, like open and makes you understand something. Actually, it's no, it's just like. A, like propaganda. Well, the same as Heidegger and Camus. Well, not Heidegger, Sartre. Sartre, 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 so, Sartre, Sartre so, yeah. It's like a childish book, but Heidegger is a real existentialism. So, to understand it, 
to understand it in true sense, to feel this like basic anxiety. Mm, although I would say that his philosophy might seem a little bit dangerous because like he wants to remove your normal meaning of the words, normal vocabulary, change it by his vocabulary. And that's how actually propaganda works. And that's uh, why Heidegger might be considered as a dangerous philosopher. Mm, but mm. Uh, you might take a lot of like useful stuff about like your wife, about your normal typical experience. So after this, uh, you, I think you might pass an um, easily university course in Heidegger with, with this after this course. Mm -hmm. We got mm -hmm. so many mods here. What the hell? Like I've never seen so much mods before. It's, it's, it's a hardcore, it's a hardcore anarchy server. So, uh, in terms of, okay, so, see, the creeper, right, uh, wanted to blow me up, but uh, in doing that, he blows up himself. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in Heidegger terminology, what, what could that, that mean, like, what could that be? Mm, I would say, I would actually define creeper as not a design. Stuff. Like, you know, Creeper cannot ask a question about its existence, so okay. we can say I, I, I was Creeper about it's like something, it's more like something pre ready to hand or a present to hand entity, mm. uh, and um, which gives you, which moves you to some sort of like a emotional state of being, and uh, like when you hear about Creeper, you, I mean, you, you start experience some sort of like anxiety state of being yes, which yes, moves yes. you closer to your like uh, proper uh, existential stuff mm -hmm. um, and so yeah yeah like if you will be dying from creeper it will be like your unique death which is not going to be unique actually by the Minecraft standards but personally on this first level it will be unique but no this is actually kind of um no it's not something really deeper what I told you it's, it's just like it took the fact that I right found a stack of diamond blocks. Oh my god, you have to keep it with you. You have to keep it with you. It's really important. So yeah, like you don't think about it too much about creepers. Uh, we have to give a proper like to understand the concept of tree creeper in Heidegger terminology. We have to, you know, uh, understand the concept of a crafting table. So mm -hmm. first you have to stop the crafting table, and then you will move to the like uh, pickaxe, like sword. And then you get what it does mean like from Heideggerian terminology. And only after this you will go to the concept of creeper. But it's don't think about it, don't overload it. It's like you go into much, like ask more like simpler question and more the introduction, right? Uh, it's it's uh, it's not uh, a very a very technical question, you know, it's a little bit out of the book. Maybe a little a, a little bit personal. So uh, personal, personal, yes, yes, okay. yes. Personal. I wanted I wanted to know generally about the quality of your life. Uh, did it become better after you learned about uh, the philosophy of Martin Heidegger? Or did it become worse? Well, to be honest, while I was reading to he Heidegger, I was like, I, I did several approaches to this in different ways. The first way to approach was, it's actually, a, oh my God, I see a house. Yeah, and it's burning. And it's burning house. Okay, so first, one of the first approaches was like I was listening to the audio book and I was lifting and so mm -hmm. after this I obtained like a severe anxiety uh, after reading to this because like that's a basic idea of uh, Heidegger books he tried to convey you the message of like anxiety like and it's not a joke like mm -hmm. it's a, it's it's true thing oh my god I'm burning basically the idea is that you must touch like uh, the schizophrenic anxiety, like not schizophrenic, but neur neurotic anxiety towards mm. the sense of old worlds, obtain the sense of new worlds. Uh, you have to live through this like, you know, paranoia of losing the sense of old worlds mm. and um, understand that like they will uh, go deep into like this primal, primal anxiety mm -hmm, to understand mm -hmm. like some concepts. Con con concepts like fullness, for example, mm -hmm. Heidegger use. But after this, it, it's supposed to make you like stronger. It's supposed to arm you with you know, like this own word base. I mean, I'm personally not agree with Heidegger um, philosophy, but I would say like I'm not I'm not fully agree. But there are really good points. But I might say that it's imperfect. 
and um, but it's a subject of a discussion like later. I will give my remarks about this. But in general, I think from myself, uh, I, I got some like interesting points. I, I I lived through this anxiety that Heidegger tried to convey, and um, right now I don't have this anxiety. And right now I have some sort of like interested thoughts for myself, and I'm a little bit more lifted up than I was before because I was lifting a lot when I was like mm. reading Heidegger. Yes, yes, yes. And maybe that's the idea. Also, mm. so yeah, I think it's uh, positively like at first it was kind of negative influence because I was nervous, and then right now I would judge it as positive. But to obtain this like full understanding, full how to say vibe of this, mm. you have to oh my god, I'm feeling like in this mood the wife of Truman right now. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it may affect you in a positive way if, if you will you know critically read and that's what i also try to convey to my uh, subscribers and viewers and um, fellow students who are going to attend this series of lectures to think critically about this and try to understand for the force and benefits and to have something from this velocity to yourself Maybe you will like Heidegger really much and you will become a strong Heideggerian and I'm not going to judge you because his philosophy is strong. But there are many flaws. To so you personally, it, it can help. It can help with the proper preparation, I would say. It, it's going to be like a funny journey. So like, you know, it's like when you first try to time play Minecraft, you first time see Enderman, it's kind of, um, it's exciting and distressing. I mean, you don't know anything. You see the whole world for you and you like opening it, discovering it and you. And like every Minecraft player I think he, he felt this feeling. So the Heidegger is kind of it's kind of similar. That's why I'm saying that Minecraft is it's actually a good platform for um for for discovering uh, Heidegger. Like you know mm -hmm. through Minecraft mm -hmm. you will open the portal to the real philosophical stuff. Mm -hmm. And you will learn to appreciate appreciate yeah. Yeah, because as far as I understand with Heidegger, right, uh, he, he has he has this world, uh, uh, not world building, but word building, right? He builds words and uh, like um, uh, you know thoughts uh, based on etymological uh, etymological stuff, and it's kind of like blocks, and it's kind of like Minecraft, like crafting, you know. So he like crafts. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, yes. Yes. You, yes. You, you mm -hmm. will grasp this. I will give an introduction to some like words, how to build this, how he takes some like common sense words, and then he started to analyze it, coming to like historical etymology, to the linguistic of this world, how does it build, and how to understand. That's basically. And the idea of phenomenology, but we're gonna talk about it like uh, a little bit later. Yeah. So. Uh, what, what? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, uh, so yeah, as I as I said, as I said already, if you have questions about Heidegger, about his philosophy, about some ideas that will be presented in future lectures, uh, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, if you if you know some people who would also be interested in that sort of stuff uh, explained through the wonderful world of Minecraft to kind of cross that vast ocean of philosophy of Heidegger's philosophy uh, please um, uh, repost like we're share. rolling it right now yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we're rolling it right now lecture mm -hmm. moments included islands of um, Heidegger yeah yeah we, we will we will we will find an island we will name it Heidegger Island we will build a big lecture hall. So there will be a platform for us to speak about it. Uh, so yeah, feel free yeah, to ask in the like comments. Right now we're we're yeah. a good metaphor on like design right now, but this is really? like and we'll be like here, like this is kind of Oh like, it's like it's like a vessel. We're, we're, a we're vessel both like a design knowledge to this um, um and towards to this cultures mm. and towards mm. to this knowledge. Like uh, disclosure towards the disclosure of the future. Like using the Heideggerian terminology. Great. Disclosing the vast ocean of the terminology to build the island where we're gonna introduce you to this peculiar and controversial philosophy. Great. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, feel free and have to. A, have a great day, guys. Have a great have day. Have a great day. Remember yeah. this. Feel free to like, subscribe, uh, share, uh, ring the bell. Uh, so you will you you won't miss the next lecture. Okay.
Uh, oh, I earned one million dollars for ten minutes on line time. Uh, well, <laughs> crazy, crazy thing. Crazy things happen in yeah, Andrew Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah. Thank you for uh, thank. Uh, we, we, I would also like to thank Anarchy Romania server for letting us play on it. Um, and uh, have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.